Amal Kumar sharing a very interesting question from my subscriber. It is based on derivatives of composite functions. The question here is, let r of x equals to f of g of h of x, where h of 1 equals to 2, g of 2 equals to 4, derivative of h at 1 is 5, derivative of g at 2 is 3, and the derivative of the function f at 4 is 8. Find the derivative of the function r at x equals to 1. So that's the question for you. You can always pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Okay, let's begin with the function itself, which is r of x equals to f of g of h of x, right? So h, g, and f. So that is the function given to us. Now derivative of this function is derivative of f of g of h of x times derivative of inside function, which will be this one, right? g derivative of h of x, okay, times derivative of inside function, which is h derivative of x. Do you see that? So that is how we get the derivative of a composite function, right? Now, what do we need to find? We need to find this derivative at x equals to 1. So we can write this as 1 here, replacing x with 1. So we get derivative of g of h at 1, right? Times derivative of g h at 1. And the derivative of h at 1. That's what we need. Now, what is h of 1? h of 1 is given to us as 2, so we can write this as g of 2 times g prime of h of 1. h of 1 is given to us as 2, so we'll write 2 here. And derivative of h at 1 is 5, so we can replace this by number 5. Now, g of 2 is given to us as 4, so we can write this as 4 here. g prime of 2 is given to us as 3, so we'll write this number 3, and we already have a number 5. Now, derivative of f at 4 is 8, so we'll replace this by 8, so we have 8 times 3 times 5. When you multiply this, what do you get? Let's do it. So we have 8 times 3 times 5, 120. So that's what you get. 120 is actually r-1. So our answer is r-1. The derivative of the function r at x equals to 1 is 120, right? So that is how you can find the answer. I'd like you to go through these steps and understand how to find derivative of a composite function, right? So it's kind of a chain rule which follows. I'm Anil Kumar. You can always share and subscribe my videos. And I hope you appreciate it. Thank you and all the best.